Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, the fifth week of Lent. So we begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I'll bet you all of us have had this experience. You know, you just think that life has really gone down the drain, and, and you have no hope, and you spend time crying or really upset, and then something happens that either calms you down or reminds you that, you know what, it, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It might take time but it's gonna be okay. For the time we pan times we panic, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon our offenses, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of sin we have committed in our weakness through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my, In distress, my distress I called, I called upon, upon the Lord, Lord and he heard, heard my, my voice. voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called, called upon, upon the Lord, Lord and he and heard, he my, heard voice. my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise to the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In, In my, my distress, distress, I called upon, upon the Lord, Lord and he heard, he my, heard voice. my voice. The breakers of death surged around me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the nether world enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In, in my, my distress, distress I, I called upon, upon the Lord, Lord, and he heard, he heard my, my voice. voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In, in my, my distress, distress, I called upon, upon the Lord, Lord, and he heard, he heard my, my voice. voice. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attempted to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good works, but for blasphemy. You are a man and are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Isn't that written in your law? I said you are God's. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because they said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. When they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a really um, interesting story in the book called Late Migrations, A Natural History of Love and Lost by Margaret Renkel. And in the book, she talks about um, her mother's sudden death. She wasn't ready for it whatsoever. And she takes you to the morning after her mother's sudden death. Here's what happened. She said, before I was up, someone brought a basket of muffins, good coffee beans, and a bottle of cream, real cream, unwhipped, left them on the back door, and tiptoed away. I couldn't eat. The smell of coffee turned my stomach, but my head was pounding from the tears and 
all the what-ifs playing across my mind all night long. And I thought perhaps the cream would make a cup of coffee count as breakfast if I could just keep it down. When I poured just a drip of cream into my cup, it erupted into a volcanic bubbles in a hot spring, unspooling skeins of bridal lace, fireworks over a dark ocean, stars streaking across the night sky about a silent prairie. And that's how I learned the world would go on. An irreplaceable life had winked out in an instant. But outside my window, the world was flaring up in celebration. Someone was hearing, it's benign. Someone was saying, it's a boy. Someone was throwing out her arms and crying, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. You know, so those are experiences, I'm sure we've all had those good ones, but we've also had that horrible, horrible experience of loss. And her anonymous neighbor, whoever that was, um, did something, it wasn't earth shaking. It, I'm sure it didn't cost a fortune. So it's those little things that really matter. Those little kindnesses like she talks about there, or you stop into a home just to check on so how somebody's doing, especially after a loss. Those little things amidst the challenges of life, they're great. They're great because they're directed by God, and God does work through his people. God bless. For all those people going through difficult times, especially because of loss of loved ones, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. People are good. We may look for the good in people rather than the problems. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people that feel alone, abandoned, or they can't go on, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those contemplating taking their own life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you what earth has given and human hands have made and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of God's holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. For the saving passion of your Son, the whole world received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread, bread and drink, and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. We remember Stephen E. Sokach, Joan M. Nowakowski, 
John Jacobitis, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Amen. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sin of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Grant, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be freed from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good weekend, everyone.